Welcome to another episode of Learning to Fly. I've just rocked up at Cotswold Airport at Kemmel Flying Club and I'm going to be doing some differences training on this C42. British Micro Aircraft Association Flying School with uh, good instructors. <laughs> so uh, it's, it's, it's not a huge thing, but conversion training is really important. Inexperienced pilot, newly licensed pilot, sometimes there can be a bit to it, more to it than meets the eye. So we need to go through the speeds uh, that we're going to fly at. Well, more importantly, we're actually just going to talk about the main differences and the flying characteristics of the aeroplane. So the C 42, the Icarus, uh, made by Conco in Germany. Very well made aircraft, but it has got some peculiar characteristics. One of which is to do very importantly with the flaps. So when we pull the flap on, on the Sky Ranger, the Air and indeed the Eurostar as well, the nose tends to come down. But with the C42, because of the design of the aeroplane, when you put the flap on, the nose pitches up. So we need to push against that on the stick to make sure we maintain the correct attitude and see how the airspeed changes. So the flap on the C42 extends to a bigger angle than on the Sky Ranger. So it's more effective in terms of drag, um, but it means that the aeroplane, if I'm an aeroplane, uh, loses more energy in the transition. So if we've got a, a, a bigger flap and having compensated for the, the, uh, the change in, in, in angles when we pull the flap on, we, we're in that attitude. So when we come into land, let's put a relationship here, with more flap on, it means that the aeroplane goes through a bigger transition before it comes in near the ground and it loses more energy and airspeed. So it's actually, uh, for the unwary pilot, it's a little bit easier to stall the aeroplane if you're trying to land at absolute minimum airspeed. Golf Charlie Alpha lined up. Golf Charlie Alpha, runway 26, take off your discretion, that's 280 degrees, 2 knots. Taking off, Golf Charlie Alpha. Okay. Right, so we've done all the normal checks, so it'll just feel that little bit different. Yeah. Uh, okay, so. Cool. Best you just find out yourself, really. Yeah. So, but <laughs> yeah. if you go through the normal takeoff checks, you know, yep. RPM max, acceleration normal, yep. airspeed active, you'll pick it up. And yep. you see, there's a little orange marker on the on the airspeed. Yeah. So that's a good one to go for, really. When you see the airspeeds up Picking to there, up. Yep. you know, just 50 yep. knots ish, if you can okay. get, get that back pressure. Cool. There we go. Okay, so. RPM max, acceleration, I assume, is normal. <laughs> yep. Feels good, and doesn't it? Airspeed's active. A little bit of back pressure. Yeah. So well, there we go. Okay. Far well, less right rudder. That's so it. let's keep to that 60. One yeah, just lower the nose and lower the nose and touch. There's a bit of lag on the instrument. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah so yeah. you slightly, yeah, a lot of people do that, so that's fine. Okay. 200 feet. Yeah. And flaps away. Nicely done on the flap. Speed's picking up a little bit. Raise that and looking up traffic. Best climb. Yep. Rate is 60 knots. Okay. So but at 60 knots, we can't see too well where we're going. No. So I think you'll probably find that if you 65, it's probably a bit, a little bit better. Uh, a little bit better. Yeah, visibility. There. Visi visi visibility. Yeah. Good so morning. This is Golf Bravo. Papa, papa. So to achieve that, yep. you probably need to just trip forward and think. Use your forefinger. Yep. So forefinger to trip forward and thumb to trip back and then you won't get in a muddle. Yeah. So that's a little bit fast, but okay. it's coming up actually. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Balance ball seems about right. Yeah. Well there we go, hands off there. Wow. Gosh. Good stuff. Winter flying. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> isn't it amazing? 
Yeah. Cool, so um, we've certainly left the ATZ, they've actually spoken to us already, so probably time to do a Frida. Yep. Uh, fuel is good. Radio, Kemble is... The drive radar, one, two, four, definitely. We're listening to Kemble, but we'll turn them down a little bit. Well, Engine three, temperatures five, and pressures. Five, yeah, they're okay, a little bit three, cool five, maybe, five, but... Five, five, five. And uh, direction, well we know we're going, we're heading towards Wales at the moment, but should we turn left? Yep. So. Cool. Uh, and altitude we can change to 1022. Okay. Alright, well let's level out when we get to 3,000 feet. Okay. Okay, let's see if we can stay level at 3,000 then. Yep. So you've got to get the attitude to normal. Yeah, yeah so you probably, yeah, probably need to pull that RPA back a tiny bit more. There we go. Just let that happen. And then that's, uh, so cruising speed then. 70 is about right. It's just over 70 knots, isn't yeah. it? So 80, yeah. what are we, 80, 84, 5 miles an hour, yeah. something like that? Yeah. yeah. Which is good speed, isn't yep. it? Yeah, definitely. Uh, okay. The GPS says we're doing 75 knots, so that it almost ties in exactly, so yeah. we've got hardly any wind yeah. today, yeah. so it all looks about right. Great. Okay, so we're good. So we're flying along, you've done very well so far, that's great. Yep. Uh, that's all the... Uh, all the ferry pilots did in the war, isn't it? Is they, is they climb into a new aeroplane with a checklist and get, uh, you know, I mean, most of them were women, weren't they? Yeah, they were. Yeah, and, and they just climb in the aeroplane and off they go, you know. Yeah, and having and never flown a Spitfire before. Exactly. Go through the checklist, yeah. off you go. Oh my God, imagine. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> we've got the advantage of being able to do a check ride, a bit of differences training, so. Yeah. Uh, let's have a look, first of all, simply at uh, going into a descent, see what it feels like. Okay. So, usual good lookout. Yeah, we're just going to move the nose a little. Not quite so much rudder, that's going to be a bit of a problem today, but looks good. Looks good ahead of me. Yep, cool. And then we'll just pull back the power. So hold the power right away off and just see what happens to the trim. So it's actually not too bad, is it? No, it's not too so bad. With power off. Okay, let's try levelling out. Okay. Yeah, probably a bit too much power there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Alright, so go for the climb. So the visibility is nothing like as good as the sky. No, not job. at all. So, um, but we'll have a good look out. We're okay for airspace yeah. here. Full power. That's it. A little bit, of, yeah, you put too much right rudder in, look. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, from, yeah. The, from the Sky Ranger. Yeah. Yeah, see. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. so just watch your slip ball a little bit. Yeah. Uh, when you're uh, so that wants to get familiar with the, the aeroplane. I'm just going to kind of let it do its thing and find out where what, it is. What it wants, yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. Alright, so let's All level out again. Yeah. That's too far, that's great. And then that wants to come up, so let's get that nose down. Just a touch. A bit less, a bit uh, less power. Okay, that's great. Cool. Yeah, so in early, you know, just, just uh, as you would flying any aeroplane, just keep an eye on the slip ball every now and again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it'll yep. give you good feedback, good information. Yep. And um, I remember the first three axes, Michael, I flew was the AX3 after flying Flexwing. Right. And um, I felt the slip ball drove me nuts for about the first ten hours. Oh, I can imagine. And then I managed to work it all out. And, yeah. Uh, it was fun. Okay, good stuff. Right, we better look at a stall then. Yep. So, uh, All right, so I do a hazel check. Yeah. So, yeah. Cool. Standard stall. Okay. Cool. <coughs> Excuse me. Ease so the power off. I'm gonna ease the power off. All the way off. There we go. So stick back now steadily. Stick back. That's it. Nice and steady. One knot per second. Keep coming. Yep. Stick back. Stick back. Stick back. Stick back. Stick back. Come on. Stick back. Stick back. Stick back. Stick back. There we go. Stick back. Oh, there's a bit of a mush and a buffet. There we go. Yep. Recover. It's fine. <coughs> okay. Very good. Okay, just let me have control a second. You so have control. The power off. Yeah, so if you just look at the characteristics, so the nose is coming up, the airspeed is coming down, it's we've got back, pr back pressure on the stick, it's going quiet. Yep. What happens first? There's a mush. Keep pulling, yep. and we start to get into a buffet. 
Yeah. Hold the stick back. Yeah. She's still in the buffet. Yeah. Okay. She's telling you, don't look at it. So yeah. I'm doing nothing. And it's buffeting. She's just buffeting around. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And so there we are. It's quite. And look at the VSI going down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The height yeah, we're yeah, losing. Yeah. And stick forward. Sorry. And pop I've got to power. Right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's play the plane together. No problem. <laughs> you have so, control. Sorry. Sorry. That's fine. That's fine. You have control. There we go. I have control. Well done. Okay. Well, I, I suppose that shows instincts of mine. <laughs> yeah. Sorry about that. So she's really quite docile. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, yeah. just buffing it around and yeah. she's fine. You okay with that? Yeah, I'm okay with that. Good. Yeah. Let's pop back up to 3,000 feet. Okay. Uh, have a go above. Too much right rudder. There we go. So this time we're going to start looking at the flap. So this is the thing that's different, that's yeah. really different about yeah. the aircraft. Yeah. So let's go to glide descent. So good look out. Yeah. Airspace, ease the power off. Space is good. Power's off. So this time, hold the aircraft in the white arc speed. Okay. So just in the white arc speed. Yep. Okay. There we go. Uh, that's it. Yep. And sure. let's have one stage of flat. Oh yeah. Did you see how the nose came up? Yeah, so you just yeah, got to yeah. push against that a little yep. bit. Yep. Yep. Alright, let's go for two stages of flat. So I can... Push. Oh. Yeah, go on, pull. Pull on the flap yep. and push on the stick. Yep, yep. So you pull on the flap lever yep. back, yep. push on the yep. stick yep. forward. Yep. Yep. That's it? Okay, we're going to now. Come so back. you see how it's pulled the, the drag has pulled the speed back. And the, the nose attitude is not too bad actually. No, it's alright, isn't it? Yeah, and we're at But if you that's it with in the in the glide, yep. you probably need to trip probably about there somewhere. Uh yeah, it's coming up, so Alright, so let's look at the uh, the transition this time. So we're going to do the go around or, or the recovery from the incipient. So pretend yeah. we're coming into land. I have it trimmed as I would. Yeah, as so you would in the, in, 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 the, in the cruise. That's yeah, it. Yeah, good. Okay, so let's round out now. There we go. Right, right. And hold off. Yeah. Okay, and then it's uh, now recover. Full power. Control that attitude. That's it. Well done. Get that airspeed. Now this is be careful with the flap. Right. This is where you've got to pull the flap towards you yep. and then let it off gently. Beautiful. Easy. Watch your attitude, yep. changing yep. attitude. There we go. And then the next one. That's fine. Cool. Uh, back to best climb rate 60 and we'll get some height. And let's do a climbing turn to the left if you would. So yep. good, good look out. So good look out under the wing. Need a little bit more left rudder at this turn. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, quite right with the finger, forefinger, thumb. Too much. Yeah. So if you just leave, leave it at the cruise trip. Yeah. At about 85 miles an hour, 72 or three knots. Yeah. That's fine. Let's just do that again. So just take the power off. All clear. Shut the power off and just leave the trim alone this time. Okay. So low, that's it. Yep. So let it come back into the white arc. Yep. It's about 61 knots, isn't it? Something like that. 62, 61. Just to pick that nose up a touch. And so yeah, there we one are. stage of flat. Just feel the nose comes up, push yep. against it. Yep. Let it settle. What's yep. the trim light? Still not too bad. It's alright. Okay, that's let's good. go full power, uh, full flat rather. Sorry. Yeah, it's alright. Push against, that's it. Push the stick forward as you pull the flap on. Yep. Yeah. Some people prefer to swap hands. Yeah, I was going to say. Pull, that with, pull it with the right hand. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. So, what's the trim feel like now? Yeah, nose up. Whoop, hang on a second. Shut the power right yep. off. Oh, there we go. Uh, it's, it's not, it's not bad, a million is it? miles off, actually. No, is it? So, no, so, it's so, not. so if you just a little push forward on the. Yeah, I mean, that's it's, it's yeah. very light on the controls yeah. and such. There we go. Okay. So actually, the, the, the picture's not too bad, actually. No, it's all right. It must be the power approaches where the attitude looks yeah, a bit high, yeah, nose yeah. high, I think. Yeah. All right, so let's, uh, we'll do that once more then. So we'll round out. Yep. Uh, round hold off. off. Hold and we'll do the go around. Full power. Right, try swapping hands this time. Yeah, I will. Okay. So. So, uh, 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 uh. That's it. Pull. There we go. 
It swings and roundabouts, doesn't it? It is, yeah. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. That's flap off there. Good. Alright, let's do a climbing turn to the right then. Just let the right rudder off a bit. You've got a yeah. little bit too much right rudder in the yeah, yeah. right turn. Okay, we'll just do a couple of steeper turns. We'll go back and do it into the circuit, I think. Yep, great. So, if we just run through Hazel, check again quickly. Yeah, sure. So, uh, full Hazel is height is sufficient. Okay, that all looks nice. Okay, let's do a 45 degree back turn to the right. And we'll go right through 360 degrees and come out pointing towards the bridges. Yep, sure. Okay, so, too much left. Uh, yeah, looks good. And bank it up. Not so much right rudder. A bit more right rudder. <laughs> and that's not 45, there's 45. Yeah, it's good. Just lower the nose a touch, you're just climbing away. Oh. Right. Just lo lower the nose to that. That's it. Yeah. We're keeping it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. 45. A bit more? Yep. Okay. Yep, now raise the nose and touch. Yep. There we go. That's 45. You can see the yeah. rate of time yeah, is going nicely around the horizon. Yep. Okay, I'll wake any seconds. Yeah. Yeah, it just needs a, a little bit of refinement in that attitude. Yeah, and yeah it really does. does keep yeah. it nice and level, but that's fine. Okay. It's amazing how you play around with the trim of oh, this yeah, airplane, just, isn't it? Just Whereas really Sky Ranger, you hardly have to touch it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. Okay, let's try going to the left, 55 degrees of bank. Okay. So, so a good look out. That's good. Roll, roll it in. Roll it in. Not quite left. Yeah. Power. Stick back a bit. Stick back. You go down. Yeah, hold off. That's it. Raise the nose a bit. Raise the nose. That's better. Yeah. So look at that. That's yeah. better now. Yeah. Yeah, that's about 55. That's yeah. great. Even 60. Roll out. So you probably could do a little bit of solo practice to that. Just get the yeah. refinement of yeah. how much rudder you need going yeah, right, definitely. how much going left. Yeah. Getting that attitude about right. Yeah. They're perfectly acceptable. That's great. Great. Okay, you got any questions about anything in particular at the moment? Um, no, not really. I think it's probably just uh, in terms of. Um, yeah, I need to. I need to figure out the best way of doing this. Yeah. Um, possibly that I think might be my preferred method. Keep yeah. my hand on the stick. Yeah, but yeah, no, no questions. You've covered everything really well, I think. It's fine. Oh. <laughs> Do you see that? No, I went to trim it. Just trim it. Shall I say crosswind? Well, whatever you like. You're a licensed pilot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Go, Charlie, off the crosswind. A nice steady 72 knots. Oh, brother, Mike, knots uh, Hello, Campbell Information. Oh, hello, hello. 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 Okay. So now you could start to tease the speed out of the airplane. Nose up. Nose up. Nose up. Into the white arm. Nose up. Into the white arm. Into the white arm. One stage of flap. Push the stick forward a little bit. There we go. And we'll do our first landing with one stage of flap. Okay. That's fine. Watch your speed. Yeah, just raise the nose a bit. Yep. It's interesting, isn't it? Once we've got the ground there, the yeah, nose does yeah. feel a little yeah. bit uncomfortably high. Raise the nose a little bit. I'll just make a final. Oh. Oh. Zero degrees, three knots. That was Land nice. Landing goal, Charlie Arthur. Well done. A little bit of crosswind. Speed's good. All yours. Shut the last of that power off. That's it. Left rudder, right stick. Left rudder, right stick. Oh! oh. <laughs> Great, white arc speed. White arc speed. To be careful not to respond too much to this. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's really important to get to know the attitude of the aeroplane. Yeah. Because the attitude will give you your correct airspeed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's a tendency to uh, think that you're you're going a bit fast, then pull back too much to get yeah. to the white arc speed, yeah. and then you'll suddenly find your speeds drop down to yeah. um, 55 knots. Yeah. Go, Charlie Alpha. Is final touch and go two six hard. Raise the nose. Raise the nose. Raise the nose. White arc speed. White arc. Charlie Alpha. Run me two six. 
White arms can be raised the nose. First stage of flat. Yep. Cut to go, Golf uh, Charlie Alpha. Okay, now we'll go for full flat. Push through, push through, well done. Check your airspeed, power is off. Yep. But your trim should be about right. Yeah, it is. Yep. Uh, so, so all yours. Better picture. Yeah, so the picture's not too bad, is it? No. Okay. The right stick, left rudder. All yours. That's it. Uh, just, just nicely, just let it settle in. Hold off, hold off. Stick into wind a bit to the right. There we are. That was better, you were only yeah, half a metre off the centre line. Yeah, not too bad. <laughs> okay, Good reset all. the flap for takeoff. In fact, taking all the way off time, we'll take off flapless okay. this time. Yep. So, in fact, take off at that trim speed okay. and just see that you can handle it all right. There we go. So, up here, Max. Acceleration is normal. And airspeed's alive. A bit of right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, so just a little bit more airspeed. Let this take off. Great. Yep. Cool. Okay, so we're going to do a power approach. Yeah, okay. Yep. Good, well done, Ben. That's great. Look, we're all finished now. We've done about an hour, and I've got. Uh, we've done about an hour, and I've got another student. Sure. So the only other things we've got to go through really are use of the transponder, yep. how to change the transponder frequency and what that's all about. Yep. Might be an idea if we probably just did do a fan stopping through this, you know, to a yep. field emergency somewhere. Yep. Uh, just to see that you're, you know, you're happy with a yeah, sure. change of characteristics. Top off, uh, brother, one for one, ready for departure. Check and final, looks yeah. good. Top off, brother, there's a hold position. Okay, correction on that via Alpha 1 report lined up, runway 26 hard. Just gonna report lined up via Alpha 1, one. Good. Okay, good. Cool. So just start teasing that speed back. You don't want to leave it too late getting the no. speed back. No, no, no. Uh, left rudder. Okay. And, uh. Gold Charlie Alpha is final to land 26 grass. Go Charlie Alpha, right arc, right arc, land arc, your discretion, the surface right is 340 degrees, 3 right miles. Arc. Landing, go Charlie Alpha. Right arc. Go 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 it's that unnaturally nose high yeah. attitude there, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. I hope the track have just got landing traffic okay. for the graph. There we go. Oh, oh, right, hold it. Right, so everything's under control, so we'll have full flap now. Uh, that's it. Push through, lovely. So just use the power as necessary. Yep. But don't worry about the trip, just fly it on attitude. Yep, okay. Be a bit of turbulence off the hangars, won't there, in this yeah, northern northwesterly wind? Yeah, expecting that. That's fine. So, usual story really is trying to keep that power all the way in. Yep. So you don't. The big mistake is shutting the power off at 30 feet or 20 yep. feet. Yep. So just drive it in. You reduce it a little bit now, just smoothly, so you don't lose airspeed. That's lovely. Now you can just ease it off. And it's a bit of left rudder, right stick. Hold off. Let the rudder off. Let it settle. Hold off. Uh oh. And again, hold off. Oh. <laughs> so that's what happens to the CP2 yeah, with yeah, yeah, yeah. the power. Take off your discretion. The surface wind is zero degrees, three knots. Yeah. So I'm glad you experienced that. Because yeah, it did drop, didn't it? It, it, it really plonked on, yeah. didn't it? Yeah, and yeah, it's yeah. just with full flap, it will suddenly lose that bit of energy. Yeah. You know, it's all very well. Um, um, Actually, we didn't do a stall full flap, did we? So, uh, we're okay, well, let's make a note of yeah, we'll make a note of the things we haven't done. So. So there we go, my first session in the C42, and I have to tell you that the very next day after this was filmed, it was just perfect weather, but my camera batteries were flat, and it was an impromptu flight I had with David, and I said, mate, I've got a spare hour, can I come up and do those final bits? And I did, but I did not film it. I really wanted to get this done because the weather's been crap at the moment. So I wanted to get it done, and I've got my difference trainer signed off, so I can now fly the C42. So I will come back and, and film a little bit more of that. And it's the most annoying thing as well. Oh my gosh, it's the most annoying thing. I, I 
had an absolute greaser of a landing and you won't believe me because I didn't film it and we had a laugh about that and I did my a lovely fan stop into it uh, anyway you won't believe me so who cares uh, the C-42 brilliant aircraft differences between the Sky Ranger and the C-42 well it feels much more sensitive on the stick I would suggest you're much more hands-on and definitely more feet on with the rudder in the Sky Ranger it's a bit harder to fly I thought the Sky Ranger the C-42 I really enjoyed and of course it's got a heater so I'll definitely fly that through the winter as much as I can and then back into the Sky Ranger probably come spring, but we'll see. Thank you so much for watching, and yes, we'll catch you next time. Still to come, I'm going to go through my kit bag, and we'll have a first proper flight in the C-42 and see how we get on. <laughs>